Hi there! Today we're making my home studio. This is the one I used to have, which is kind of cool, and uh, some lucky person's gonna get to buy it. There you go, it's a very cool looking boot. Right? Off. I'm auctioning it. And this right here is my closet. We took out that wall and moved it a few inches over, and this is just the closet. Back up so you can see it. Here, it's just a little bitty closet. It's gonna be my sound booth. Cool. This is Dan Leonard. He's expert on building home booths. So, we're starting by ripping out the whole thing. And here's my team, Ian Ha'al and Dan Leonard. Go for it, boys, we'll keep you updated. So this is Walter. Walter's gonna help us. He's drilling the hole in the wall that'll help the conduits get through for the XLR and the HDMI and the electricity. That's gonna come up and be about here. So this right here is the drawing of what's gonna be above the ceiling. It's sort of this maze sit thing. And Dan is building it right now. So hey, it's Tony Gonzalez, my neighbor just popping by to check out the studio. And Tony, we are looking at the closet here. And I wanted you to, um, let's see, how do I do this? There, so you were telling me, Tony, that, see the, the hole at the bottom where the cords are coming up, the HDMI and the uh, XLR cable? Actually, the XLR box is gonna go there. But um, you were saying something about... I, I would say if you want to, like have the phone company come out and, and check and see about doing uh, uh, ISD and digital patch, if you need in the future to wear a studio, if they want to patch you in, they could just patch you in from home. Uh-huh, that's really something and to consider. And they could direct you right inside the booth yeah. with an ISD and digital patch. See, I've never in my life needed it, but we do want to allow for the capability of it. So you think it'll fit through that two inch hole, right? It should, I okay. think the phone company would just come on and run the phone, and it's like an, a, another phone cord. As long as the conduit's there. Okay, <laughs> thanks. So the plenum for the uh, ceiling is coming along. Dan and Walter are working along. This is gonna be where the little maze takes place to distribute the airflow. And then Jen is here with Little River Hi. visiting. And there's Tony heading into my other space. Cool. So I'm getting ready to go under the house. I just wanted to put on some lipstick. Uh, there, I think it looks good with this outfit, don't you? My under the house outfit. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the cable now. See ya. So I'm gonna take the wire under the house now. I'm gonna take two ends, and I'm gonna take an XLR cable. I've got my beautiful outfit on, and I'm gonna got my spelunker light. Okay, see you in a minute. So hi, I'm under the house, and I'm um, feeding the cable up through the pipe underneath. I'll show you. Let's see. Oh, there's the little conduit that all the things are going up through. Can you see it? There, you can kind of see it now. Yep, and this is me feeling gloriously relaxed underneath the house. Okay, I'm waiting on the mic cable right now. They're gonna put it on a wire because it's kind of flimsy. Okay, bye. So, I went under the house and I brought through the electrical wire and the microphone XLR cable and the HDMI cable and poked it up through the conduit. Simple. So this is the plenum. Dan, tell us about this thing you built while you're eating your working lunch yeah. tuna sandwich I made you. What this is, it's a, an airflow plenum. And what it does is air comes in one way and goes out another. But what we're going to do with these slats are going to be covered with um, an acoustic foam. Most of the noise you get from uh, airflow is the airflow, not the ex actually the motor. So we got a real quiet motor for this thing. And that allows us to ventilate the entire booth without any extra noise. What would you call this kind of a formation rat, rat, rat maze thing? Uh, rat maze. A, a, a rat maze. A rat maze. A rat maze. We'll We're going to put we'll, we'll, mice we'll, in it later. Yeah, we'll just call it a Skinner box and we'll be happy. Okay, Skinner box, good. Did you say it plenum or baffled or what? It's all of those it's things. It's all of those things. Anyway, this all is Walter's helping one. us make it. And Kiwi is helping. Ian, what are you doing now? 
I'm making a hole in this uh, joist for these cables to go through. We brought, you, know, you brought the conduit up through the floor and brought this cable up through the floor, which was fantastic. And now we're going to put that through here so we can have an electric outlet here, an electric outlet here, and an XLR and HDMI outlet here. Thank you. That was exceptional explanation. Go, Ian. So we've got most of the drywall up. The, the quick rock. Quiet sound. Quiet. Wait, what's it called? Quiet, quiet rock. Sorry, we've got the quiet rock up. Mostly. We have this final wall that, um, Roxel, is that what it's called? It's called Roxel. Roxel. It's this really nice soundproof batting that's in the wall there. And then the electric boxes are there. And we have the headphone jack, the mic jack, the um, uh, USB for, I mean, the, the HDMI for the computer monitor, and then the electricity. So that's all going in. And um, we'll keep you posted. Looking good. We're going to put the plenum up probably tomorrow or the next day. And up here, is where the air conditioning vents are gonna exit the closet. And it'll be a forced air entry and exit with a blower. Uh, I would call it forced, maybe just it's a gentle a, nudge. A gentle nudge. <laughs> so again, Dan Leonard, doing a great job. This is the frame. So wait, that's the frame for the ceiling? For the false ceiling, the drop ceiling that we're putting in the sound booth. Uh, so this is going to get screwed to the wall. It's a couple of end pieces that will go in afterwards. And then the drywall will get screwed onto the bottom along these and along this. And what's going to be above that? Above the drywall. Is that some of this, this Roxel? Here, this Roxel insulation. Roxel insulation. And Sound then insulation. Above that is the normal ceiling, uh, the old ceiling that was always there. And then above that is some more Roxel insulation. And then there's Dan's plenum, which is this air filter. The plenum. The plenum that takes all of the sound. It's like the rat maze. It takes all of the sound out of the air as it passes through, as it's ventilating the sound room, if you like. Lovely. Thanks for that, Ian Hall. So, you got your false ceiling in there, Ian? The brackets for it, yes. All the right. support. Looking good. There's it a bench coming out. It's nice and tight. All right. So, this is the genius Dan Leonard at work. You see that right there? That's the plenum, that box. See those little vents coming out? Those are going down into the booth. Sort of a forced air exchange. And the motor, he moved the motor five feet away. I don't know if you can see it. It's way over there. Way over there. Way over there, way over there in the box. That's the motor so that we won't hear it from inside the booth. Brilliant. Wonderful. This is a pretty nice attic, right? Cool. It helps. There's the air conditioner strapped to the ceiling so it won't vibrate. There's the other one. Everything's strapped to the ceiling. Right on. So we're checking this piece of drywall, this quiet rock, to see if it's going to fit in the false ceiling. It's a little short. It's like 8 inches short. You can see all the coming in four feet. Oh, the electric cord's keeping it from going up all the way. We hope. Here's the incredible Dan Leonard putting in the floor. The floor is going to get insulation in it, and then it's going to get a sandwich of green glue and plywood over it. He's shimming it right now to get it level. Now, hi, Dan. Ian's cutting the holes in the roof of the booth so that the ducts can go in it and now he's putting the um, anchor on for the LED lighting fixture and um, he's having so much fun right dear <laughs> so now we've got the baseboards on and behind the baseboards there's this stuff that's um, it's like a kickboard, only it's insulation. And so we have big sheets of this on the wall. Yep, you can kind of see it. See? And that's like insulation. And now I have this nice board that's cut around the outlets, and that'll make it the same depth as the kickboard insulation stuff. Then I put these corner pieces on that are going to hold the fabric that's going to make it look pretty. 
And then up at the top, you can see is the light. That'll go up there in a minute. And those are the little holes where the air is gonna be sucked out and go into. And as an added surprise, the door is on. Look at that. Pretty great. So I wanted to show you the door in a little more detail. It has a double pane window. It's a solid door. I used the original doorknob because it's so cute. There's no latch really. I mean, it's not a like a the kind of latch that's gonna lock. And then at the bottom we have this. It's not done yet, but it's this kickboard that's gonna suction suction with that stuff that's stripping right there. Anyway, the star of the hour is Willem. Hi, Willem. Hello. Willem's the genius behind it all next to Dan. So now we're putting this fabric, it's just a piece of fabric and it's white and we're putting it in the ceiling and it just goes into this rail that Willem has mounted between the foam board, which is here, and the ceiling. And it just pokes into this little crack. Isn't that cool? See, there's the rest of the fabric coming down. And I'll let you know more when it's done. Hi, Willem. So here's the problem. When we put these things on and try to line up the holes, they don't line up. And I don't know why. Like, here's the cover, and they don't line up with the holes. So what kind of box did we put in there? So I got the carpet down, and I got the fabric on the walls. Very happy. And I got my little piece of furniture that's gonna hold my keyboard right there. And then I got this really cool mic stand. See that whole mic holder? It's made by Yellow Tech. And then this is where my microphone goes. And then over on the other side, purple wall, purple wall. And then there's a baffle right there. And then up there is your air conditioning vent. So I'm putting these Oralex base traps in the corners. I have a little straight pin. And since the walls are this insulating foam, I'm just sticking it right into it and it holds it in place. Yep, that makes for a nice base trap. Cool. So here's my finished studio. Here's the window. Here's the little, you know, noise trap thing. Look at my cool stool that matches. Here's my bass traps and my mic with my yellow tech arm and more bass traps. My padded walls, my cool carpet that matches everything. And this is me in front of my mic. Kind of can just pull it to me. Ah, oh, my headphones, imagine that. Here I go. Bye, I'm gonna just shut the door now. Cause you can't hear me when the door is closed.